Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to a new episode of Zaku News here on the USA Gundam TV channel. It is June 8th. Actually, it's June 9th. I recorded this video yesterday. I'm having to re-record it because I wasn't happy with it, so I'm re-recording this. But uh, this is going to still be the episode for June 8th as these episodes come out every other Monday. And now, as you guys also know, I've been in the process of moving, so we didn't have one the last time when we were supposed to, so I apologize for the interruption in the schedule, but thank you guys so much for your patience. Again, if you want to, or if you haven't seen the video on, over on my channel, my Zaku release channel, I talked more about that and how the moving process has been going and introduced my new working space here. But I do also want to uh, talk to you guys about one more thing before we get into the news for this week, and that is about a new episode that I'll be doing live on this channel here with Adam, the owner of US at Gundam Store. We're gonna be doing another live in the warehouse video where he and I will be chatting He'll show off some new products in stock, and you guys will also have your chance to ask your questions to him. So I'll be posting around on the USA Gunham Store Facebook and Instagram pages as well, where you guys can uh, post your questions there ahead of time so that we'll have those already lined up, and I can ask those to Adam on your guys' behalf during the live stream. Uh, so that'll be Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. on US uh, East Coast time. Here in Korea and Japan time, that's a Tuesday night at 10 p.m., so I'll see you guys then. Let's get into the news, shall we? We had some really cool stuff that was announced. Uh, the first thing here was a Metal Build Gundam Astray Gold Frame Amatsu Hana. This is actually a version of the Gold Frame that I have never seen before. I know there's a few different versions of it, uh, but this is one I don't think I'd ever seen. But it looks really, really cool. This is out in October for 25,000 yen. So of course it's a metal build, so it's not going to be the easiest to get. They don't make that many of them, and it's really expensive, so that's going to make it pretty prohibitive for most people, I think. But I gotta say, this does look really, really nice. I hope that maybe at some point Bandai will maybe do a Master Grade version of this. That would be pretty cool, because I really like uh, the gold frame design. The gold frame Amatsu design is pretty cool, but I like the little bit extra flair this one has to it. Aside from just the white color, it has some like little extra bits going on there that I think just do look pretty cool, especially like the little fins on the head and stuff so it's a really really interesting design the weapons on it are a kind of slight variation of the weapons as well which just kind of adds to the the flair the uniqueness of this design thing so it does look very impressive for sure so if you were able to drop the cash on that then i think it's definitely going to make for a cool display piece all right then we do have a couple of gundam based limited items that have just been released now the first one is the gundam barbatos lupus Iron-Blooded Coating, this is a HG Iron Blood Orphans kit uh, coming out for 2,500 yen. So that's uh, a little bit expensive, maybe thinking, for an HG Iron Blood Orphans kit, 2,500 yen. Usually they're around 1,000, 1,200, 1,400 yen, maybe, for like the little bit more expensive ones. But the reason, of course, is for the Iron-Blooded Coating. So this is a coated kit. Anytime we have coated kits, they're usually about double the price of the base kit. And so that's what you're seeing with this one as well. And I got to say, it does look pretty cool. Of course, if you can paint your kits, then you can just make this on your own uh, without all the nub marks that you would get from this one because this kit is not undergated once you build this up. Uh, this one from the Gundam base, it's going to have no marks all over it. But if you paint, of course, then you can make this by yourself without having to worry about that. That said, if you don't paint, I think even with the nub marks, it's still going to be looking pretty cool. Uh, of course, in Bandai's sample images, you can't really see any nub marks because they uh, you know, don't want to show that in their sample images. So they, they, prov they prepare the kit in a different way. Uh, but it's still, I think just the, the Gundam with that sort of dark metallic silver kind of coating does look pretty cool. So I think that's the second or third one I think that they've done in this uh, Iron Blood coating styling uh, there for Gundam Base exclusives. I think they did like the regular Barbatos and maybe the Lupus and now the Lupus Rex, I think. So they're pretty cool. There's a, there's a few of them. The next Gundam Base exclusive kit here is the HGUC Dodai Kai real type colors. Uh, this is coming now for 1500 yen for the list price for this. So uh, it may seem a little bit pricey for like just a little basically aircraft for your HG kits to ride on. I think it does also come with a stand here and it's an exclusive, so I guess. Uh, now this version is kind of keeping in line with the Gundam Base Limited real type colors version. So like uh, with the Goof Flight type HG kit, that was originally just a P-Bandai kit, the standard version. And then for the uh, Gundam Base Limited version of that, they made it in real type colors. So this is just another Gundam Base Limited 
real type color thing that they're putting out. And I gotta say, the Dodakai looks really awesome in the real type colors. It looks very kind of emphasizes the aircraft look of it. I think all the markings and of course just like the simple gray color for it does look really cool. I think in this version. Uh, I don't think that's going to be water slides included with that, though. Unfortunately, I'd imagine it's just going to be stickers. So it does look really nice, though. Uh, it, I think I can imagine this, like, you know, not in uh, with mobile suits actually riding on it, but I think it would look really awesome just, like, in a small little vignette or diorama, just, like, on the ground, on, like, an aircraft kind of hangar, uh, runway sort of little diorama you can make with this with this just on the ground maybe some tiny little 144 scale uh, service people you can get those Bandai makes the HD builders parts of little one 144 scale uh, figures so you could have those on like kind of on the ground there it would look pretty cool I think so even without the mobile suits just that by itself uh, but all right then we had some P Bandai stuff announced of course so the first thing here was the P Bandai RG new Gundam heavy weapon system coming out in September for 6,000 yen. That's 6,000 yen for the Gundam and the heavy weapon system parts all included all in one package. Now, this, this announcement is not really very surprising. After the new came out, we were, a lot of kind of people were expecting that there was going to be a heavy weapon system announced for this. But uh, fortunately, if you already have the new Gundam in and you don't want to buy another new Gundam and you just want to get the heavy weapons parts just by themselves, you are able to get the expansion set available just on its own. So that's good. Uh, the heavy weapon set expansion set uh, just on its own is going to be 1800 yen for that so about 15 20 bucks just for the expansion parts i think it's not too bad if you can get it uh, around the original list price like that so uh or maybe you have the original one and then you want to also have a heavy weapon system version you can just get the full set again so it does look really awesome all the detail on there looks great um the detail the inner detail on the rg new gundam was something that i really appreciated about that kit because a lot of real grade kits um, the inner frame is nice because it's really nicely articulated, but it's very functional, not necessarily very fashionable, as in the inner frames of the RG kits don't necessarily have a lot of detail like we see in some Master Grades, but the inner frame of the RG New Gundam had a ton of nice, really detail in there. And so it's cool to see that they've uh, taken that same amount of inner detail and expanded that onto the heavy weapons parts as well. You can see the inside of some of the heavy weapons system parts. Uh, it's also got some really nice detail in there and of course just the gimmicks everything of like the chest miss missile pods opening up uh, and of course just the rifle the super hyper mega long rifle extends out and the shield has some articulation to that as well so very cool it looks great can't wait to check that out uh, then we also have here the P-Bandai Master Grade Cubelet uh, Ambril this is basically the Cubelet Damned which is a P-Bandai kit and this is the, just taking Cubelet Damned and making it in the original Cubelet colors of white, pink, and purple. And this one's coming out in August for 5,400 yen. Now, the other thing to note about that is that uh, it's not just regular colors there. They're actually metallic injected colors. It's kind of hard to tell with the white in the sample images. I would imagine it's a kind of pearlescent white. Well, I can't really see very well in the photos, but you can definitely see like the pink and purple parts are metallic injected so those are kind of like the metallic -y, sparkly kind of look to those parts so that's kind of cool i guess if you like the look of that uh, of course also the other big difference about this too from just the regular cubelet dam is the markings this has a bunch of especially these big giant markings on the shoulder binders that are in silver so these big cool silver markings for that so if you are the kind of person who again if you paint and you thought, maybe you already have the Cubelet Damned, and you thought, well, if I want that same design in the original Cubelet colors, I can just repaint my regular Cubelet Damned. So the only difference that you can't recreate necessarily is, of course, going to be those uh, markings for that. So those silver markings are only going to be included with this version of the kit uh, as water slide decals, of course. So those will be cool. Then we also had the teaser of a new P Bandai Master Grade from Gundam Wing, being the uh, Gundam Sandrock Armadillo. So this is keeping in line again with the different uh, Glory of Losers versions of the wing suits, uh, wing Gundams, Gundams from Gundam Wing. <laughs> anyway, uh, we don't have a price or release date set for this quite yet, uh, but this once again is something that we all knew was probably going to come at some point. I really wasn't expecting it this year though. I would have expected it to maybe come out sometime later next year, so I'm a little bit surprised that it's coming out uh, this soon. Of course, we don't know the exact release date yet, but I can assume it's going to be probably October or November around the end of the year. They wouldn't announce it this soon to be coming out next year. That just doesn't really make sense now, does it? So this version of the Sandrock is definitely pretty cool with the big extra kind of armor on it. It looks very 
cool, I think. So yeah, I think that'll go really well with the other different uh, variations that we've seen of the Masquerade Heavy Arms that came out recently with all the different extra missiles and stuff on it. And uh, the Shenlong Liao unit, for example. So these other different versions of the Master Grade wing kits. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, then uh, a couple things here from P-Banda that we talked about in the last episode, but we really only had just like the one teaser image for them. But now we have a bunch more images and information about them. So I'll just kind of go over these one more time here. First one being the P-Bandai HG AC Gundam Geminus Humability and Assault Booster Unit Packs coming out in September for 1600 yen. So this, once again, is just a set of two different kind of backpack equipment and just like equipment parts sets for the Geminus. So if you only have one Gundam Geminus, then you're thinking maybe, oh, what am I going to do? I only have one Gundam Geminus. I have to buy another Gundam Geminus uh, to be able to use both sets. You can actually attach all the parts from both sets onto one Gundam, which is pretty interesting. It looks a little bit kind of over the top, in my opinion, because you have like the huge um, assault booster parts, I think they are. I'm not sure which parts are which. Uh, we have like the huge big like weapon uh like big engine binder parts attached onto the back of the feet when you're attaching both equipment sets onto one gundam and it looks a little bit goofy i think but uh it's it's a thing that you can do but i would say uh if you already have the geminis or you're planning on getting the geminis and planning on getting this uh, equipment pack I would say maybe don't get a second Gemini Zero One because it's probably only a matter of time until the Gemini Zero Two gets uh, officially announced. We kind of saw it teased as well, but I haven't seen any more information about that. But I'm sure it's going to be coming out later on. So uh, if you like this set, I would say uh, get the regular Gemini Zero One and get the Gemini Zero Two later when that comes out, and then when, that way you can put like the high mobility parts on one and the assault booster parts on the other. Would be how I would do it. So that's just my suggestion to you guys. I was still waiting and with my fingers crossed and holding my breath for some other different uh, G-Unit Gundams to be coming out as new HGAC kits uh, like uh, the Hydra or the Grape or something like that would think would be pretty cool. So uh, we'll see. Anyway, uh, the other one here is the P-Bandai HG Build Divers Re-Rise Eldora Windam. This one's coming out in September for uh, 1800 yen for this one. And this one as well, we only had just the one illustration of this last time and it was looking pretty goofy. Seeing it in the full kit form, it definitely looks a lot better, I would say. I really like the shield especially. It's basically just the same Windom shield but has some spikes on it, which I think is a cool addition to the shield. Uh, something that you could make on your own without too much difficulty, I would think. But that just goes on there. And then it has uh, some really interesting aspects to the design. The V-fin, I guess if you can call it that. Just, it's not really as much of a V-fin that we typically think about it, but it's more like sticking out the top of the head, like just a pair of antenna or rabbit ears, just sticking straight out the top of the head. It's kind of odd. And the binders you may recognize as the binders on the back of it are actually the parts of the binder gun. And the binder gun option set is basically just all included with this. So you'll have those parts which will use, which you'll use as the binders for this mobile suit. But then you'll have all the other parts that were included with that set which are like uh, all the different joint and connection parts that you can use for customizing and modifying your different HG kits and stuff like that. So you'll have a ton of those extra leftover parts from the binder gun option set that you can then use for other different customs and things like that. So that's kind of a cool added kind of bonus to get with this kit as well. So another interesting thing about this too is that uh, the uh, Axe Rifle acts, A-C-T-S acts, as an axe or a rifle, which is pretty cool. So you have some more options there. Honestly, this kit, just the overall design sort of reminds me a lot of the Gundam Mark III. It has you know, like a long, thin shield, the binders on the back, and just kind of this very slim kind of look overall. It really reminds me of the Gundam Mark III, just uh, in its silhouette sort of, I suppose. But all right. Then getting to just the standard announcement stuff. So of course, Bandai had their big announcement, which they teased a week ahead of time that they were gonna announce a new Master Grade Verka kit. And what it ended up being was the Master Grade Wing Gundam Zero EW Verka. That's gonna be coming out in November for 5,500 yen. Uh, I, like I said, I talked about this more in the video over on my channel, so you can check that out if you wanna know more about my personal opinion about that. All I'll say for now is that, guys, uh, it is basically just gonna be a, a 2.0 uh, in all intents and purposes of the original Wing Zero Custom Master Grade Kit, which came out over a decade ago, so it's certainly due for a 2.0. It'll definitely be an improvement over the original Master Grade, and it's definitely going to be a 100% new kit so it'll be nice. I mean, whether you're a fan of the design or not, it'll be a great master grade. I'm sure of that. 
Uh, but maybe if you're not particularly into the design, then you're not really all that excited about this kit. So I don't really know what to tell you. At that point, that's just going to happen. You know, you're not going to particularly be super excited about every new kit that comes out. Uh, I'm not, and I'm sure most of you are not either. But I think it is going to be a really cool kit. It's still going to be a nice kit. I'm looking forward to building it and checking it out anyway. So that'll be out in November. Uh, and then that begs the question as to what's going to be or if there's going to be any other like bigger kit out in December, I would assume it's going to be the PG Unleashed, but we still haven't yet seen more information about, about that yet. So I would imagine that's probably going to be out in, de in December, uh, the new ARC-78 uh, Unleashed. Perfect grade kit, but uh, we'll have to see. All right. The other kind of big news, although it's very small, uh, is the entry grade RX-78 II Gundam coming out in September for 700 yen. Now the price tag especially is something to keep in mind with this kit because I know a lot of people's reaction anytime there's a new RX-78 II Gundam, uh, especially this year, uh, after we had the G40 and the HD The Origin version and the HD Beyond Global version which just came out and now another RX-78 II to come out this year in 144 scale, another version of that. Uh, I can understand why people are feeling like, oh, another 144 scale uh, RX-782 Gundam. But the thing about this is that it looks great, the articulation looks great, the color separation looks great, and considering that it's 700 yen, it looks pretty amazing. So for under $10 to have a really nice HG, or it's not HG, I guess, <laughs> a really nice 144 scale version of the Gundam, I think it looks pretty fantastic. So... And as the name would have you believe, entry grade, I think it'll make a perfect kit for introducing new people into the hobby. So it can be a kind of very good standard default kit for when people ask, uh, I want to check out, I want to try building a Gunpla kit. What do you recommend? You can say entry grade. There you go. It makes sense. It's right there in the name. It looks like a great kit too. The color separation on that, like I said, looks really cool. Like even the little V in the crotch is a separate yellow piece that fits in there. And I mean, for 700 yen, that's cool. I think uh, you can see some more pictures about uh, like how the parts are broken down about that. It looks really nice. So I'm excited for that, even though it is just another 144 scale ARC-72 Gundam. All right, and then the new news, which just came out this morning, like an hour ago, <laughs> so it just uh, is pretty fresh and hot, is the HD00 Gundam Plutone out of nowhere. Ben I coming back to the HG00 line uh, for whatever reason. This is going to be coming out in September for 2200 yen. Uh, it looks awesome. I really like this design. This is one of those 00, I think it's a 00 MSV design, right? Anyway, a 00 kind of side story design that I really like. So I'm really super excited for this. It looks really awesome. The Again, we can't really tell too well because from the just sample images, it's kind of hard to tell what's uh, exactly painted and what's going to be a sticker. But it looks like, for the most part, the color separation is going to be pretty good on this. I'd imagine just because of the nature of the design, it is going to have some stickers on there, of course. But I don't know, just the proportions, the details, everything on this does look really cool. So if you're a fan of Double O, or even if you're not that big of a fan of Double O, I feel like this is a design that a lot of people can enjoy, even if you're not really necessarily a fan of a lot of the stuff that uh, usually comes out from the HD Double O line. Uh, this is one I think that's going to be pretty popular. So I'm really looking forward to that out in uh, September, so not too long to wait for that either, so that's cool. Uh, and then the other big HG news is the HG uh, After Colony Gundam Heavy Arms coming out in October for 1500 yen. So the TV version of the Gundam Heavy Arms finally coming out in just the regular HG AC kit. Uh, so we had the Sandrock, which just came out a couple months ago, and then they're continuing on with the Heavy Arms. And so then after that, maybe it's going to be an HG Shenlong kit. It'll be pretty cool as well. Uh, with the old extending arm and everything, like the TV version. So uh, this one looks cool. Of course, it has all the gimmicks that you would expect. The chest, the shoulders open up, and the color separation in there does look really nice for this one as well. It has the blade on the arm, of course. Uh, it looks like it is going to have open hands, or at least one open hand you can see in the picture there. So that's cool, and instead of just the standard holding hands for an HG kit. Uh, so it looks like it's going to be a pretty cool kit. And for 1500 yen, that's a pretty cheap price tag for this as well. I think, you know, we think that's kind of standard for HG, but a lot of HG these days are kind of getting a little bit higher in price because Bandai is putting more into them, a lot of them anyway. Uh, but this one at 1500 yen, I think, is not bad at all. So that one's going to be pretty awesome as well. Looking forward to checking that one out. Uh, I wonder, you know, which one is the most popular? I would imagine it in the world, because uh, it's kind of hard to tell between different countries, but in the world I would say probably Wing Gundam is the most popular, but then for the second most popular, would it be 
Heavy Arms or the Death Scythe? What do you guys think? Uh, both are, are very popular, I know. Uh, Shenlong seems to be the least popular. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Sad day for that. And Sandrock Sand Rock as well. Sandrock and Shenlong are kind of like third tier. Uh, maybe uh, Wing is the most popular. And then Death Side and Heavy Arms are like second tier. Does that sound about right to you guys? I don't know. What do you guys think? That's kind of what I would expect. All right. Then the last thing we have to talk about here is the HG Build Fighters, the Re-Rise, Gundam Astray System. This is just the tentative name for this. Um, it looks like this is basically, at least in the series anyway, not the actual kit, I should clarify, as uh, I posted about this on my Facebook page and uh, people kind of misunderstood what I meant in my um, tweet, in my uh, post about that, was that it seems like this is the next iteration of the Gundam No Name Astray, but the kit is not going to actually be too much based off of the No Name Astray because the kit does look mostly new, uh, but I just mean canonically in the series it seems like you know, the builder who made the No Name Astray, then this is his next version of that build anyway. Um, so this is coming out in October for 2,000 yen. Uh, it looks pretty interesting, but it's a very wild design based on an Astray, but there's not like a whole lot of recognizable Astray in there at this point. I mean, it's still kind of recognizable as an Astray kit, I guess, uh, but it's a pretty wild, like kind of alien looking design and it looks very gimmick heavy. So it looks like there's a lot of gimmicks in there. We can see some of the photos here, like how it's got the big cannons and everything. Uh, but it looks like there's probably going to be like some more gimmicks that we haven't quite seen yet. So it's probably going to be like related to the story or something. And that's why they haven't shown it quite yet. And that's why they haven't released the name for it yet. Because it's going to be like a big reveal in the anime. So they want to keep it for that would be my guess as to why. They haven't uh, announced more information about that, but it is not coming out until October, so we have a lot of time until that's actually coming out to see more about that and hear more about what is the backstory and what are the more gimmicks and what is the full actual name going to be. So we'll see about that, but that is it for the news. We have some cool announcements, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, we didn't have Shizuoka Hobby Show last month, so this is basically, I guess, what we would have seen at Shizuoka Hobby Show, which I got to say... If I would have gone to Shizuoka Hobby Show and this would have been all band I had to show for new Gunpla stuff, I honestly would have been a little bit disappointed because we don't have uh, anything new on the PG Unleashed. We don't have an actual prototype of the Master Grade Wing Zero Verka. And so that, those are kind of like the big two things on the list at the moment and uh, not really having anything to show for those at the moment was kind of disappointing, but I, I can imagine that uh, just the um, coronavirus situation in Japan has uh, limited Bandai's production. Obviously, we've seen delays in kits and things like that, so uh, maybe that's why they didn't have more ready to show in this month of May, but hopefully over the next couple months, we'll see more stuff. Uh, I'm sure we'll see more information about these kits, so looking forward to that. As always, guys, thank you so much for your support. In the link below, you can check out USA Gundam store and shop online there. We really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys live with Adam tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll be in the warehouse hanging out and talking about some new stuff and taking your guys' questions. So appreciate that. Uh, once again, check out the new video over on my channel showing off this new working space where I'm going to be working and sharing with you guys. And uh, have a great day, guys. Hope you had a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.